M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've got my ICOM 7000 out, it's on 7074. And we are playing with FT8CM, which is a free program that you can download. Now we're doing it wireless at the moment, because in settings, and I haven't even selected the radio yet, we've got a Vox selection. I've selected Vox, we've got the frequency now. We can tap here and we can try and find ICOM 7000. Now has it even got it? ICOM 706, 7, there's a lot of radios here, so there it comes at the top, so we have selected it, now we haven't used CAT, now we do have a CAT cable, I'm going to do that and we need the OTG adapter in the back, in the, you know, in the USB-C, that's fine, let me go back and it starts to decode virtually straight away, you can see that. Now the way it TX is, is if we hold down on one of the stations that we're receiving, call, it starts to TX. And when it's in Vox mode, you hear it. You'll hear it do it. And you can see what you're TXing here. Give it a minute. It's, you know, you can change the parameters for when it TX. Right, see it's gone red? Let's turn it up. It's TX in now, and normally I would hear that. I'm not sure why I'm not. Maybe it still thinks I've got the cat cable connected. You do have to set the board right. Let's just go to the board and set the right board rate for your radio and also the CIV, I would say, which is all in. I, I haven't actually done this, I've literally just turned it on and I'm playing. So let's just go to the menu. You need to be USB, menu here, other, and then as you go down, look, you've got, just go up, CIV address is 70H, so it looks like we're right, you might have to put a H there, it's a small H, so I better do it exactly the same, H, okay, back out. So the settings in, and once I get the cable in, it it will actually start to TX the radio, fingers crossed. CIV transceive. Now, I haven't tried this, but I would guess that we probably have to turn that on. So let's just go. I need to remember how to turn that on. One sec. It's quite bright, isn't it? So, yeah. It just checked, moved the large VFO and it turned it on. So I'm not saying it's even ready yet. There may be further settings to do with the USB. This isn't really a full setup video of it. I mean, it's such a fun radio. I'm going to try this on the ICOM 705 later. It's quite bright, so might have to go back. You see, I haven't used this for about a week. So we go. We go like so, display, you want the brightness, otherwise it's a bit glary on the camera, isn't it? Back out. Now if I put the cable in, I'll just put it in quickly, just see what it does. It does detect the cable when you plug it in and give you a COM port. The cat lead is the second one along. It's an FTDI cable, but basically USB. That's my adapter. It goes in the in the tablet, Android tablet. Plug that in. And when I plug it in, I want you to see that we get a message on the screen here. This is a free download. Just put in FT8CN into Google. So we get this message here. FT, it will ask you for different. I've got APRS Droid and other things, but let's just put FT8CN. If we select, then it, this is actually, I know it's uh, unusual lettering, but this is actually the COM port that it's using. Oh, it's not the clearest image. So I just tap it, and it should say rig connection succeeded, and it, which it has done. Now, some, I've done this a few times, and it doesn't work straight away. I might have to play around with the settings. But if we go back to the complete setup here now 
if you've got it right, you'll be able to change frequency. So how do you do that? Here, there's, um, it's quite small, there's three vertical lines. And you just tap those three lines. And here, at this point, we can now... Now, I, I heard it click there, so it's gone into TX, so we know it's working because it's TXing. Uh, I've got my antenna in, 9 to 1 Ballon. Not sure how well tuned it is, so we'll let it stop. And then we'll, what we'll do, we'll change frequency as well. We'll go to 14 megs. So let's straight away, it's working straight away. I'm just going to grab my tuner, because uh, I don't want to, you know... To you know, for obvious reasons. So up the top here, I can stop it transmitting. If I tap here, right, it's in mid transmit now. Now the thing I want to see is that it's actually transmitting because earlier when I was doing this, there was no audio going into it. So we've got to think about how is the audio, you know, how is the audio getting to the the whole system. So let's turn it off a minute. Just tap it at the top here. The other thing we'll sh I'll show you is the map. Like so, you can sort of zoom in and see the activity. Look when it's happening. So, have we disconnected? Let's just go back. Decodes. Well, got nothing coming in there, so we don't know if we're still receiving. Let's go out altogether. Exit. Back in. Com lead. Nice, it's receiving again now. Rig connected, it says. Now I'm just going to turn that off. I don't want it TXing at the moment. I mean, that interesting. When I turn it off, when I tell it not to TX, you've got another little thing here. Show message on and off. Message in the, in the thing. So I think that's enough for now. I'm going to keep playing. The thing I haven't achieved, and I understand that normally you'd have the audio, if it was a Windows, you'd have the audio coming from this and the microphone going to, to this device with a, a, another cat lead, and we're not doing that. So it's, I'm not really sure what to do next. So bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel, 73.